Hi, good morning, you awesome, wonderful, blessed, excited, ignited people. It's Johan Mankis, GFR Ministries. I hope you guys are doing good and being blessed out there. I just want to share some things on my heart, just to love upon you, to encourage you, and man, to show God's goodness towards you. First of all, I'm going to say to you, man, come on, get with it, not without it. Because God is for you, again, who can be against you, okay? So I just want to encourage you today and say for you, listen, let's make sure that everything uh, is about God. What do you mean, Johan? Well, the Bible says God falls all and all. Not just some things, all things. So I want to say to you that everything is spiritual, not just this is like this, this is not spiritual, this is not spiritual, this is God, it's not God. Well, but God made the world in the beginning and says it is good. God made everything from nothing and he created something from God. So yes, everything is spiritual. No more separation for us. Because God falls all in all. Yes, he does. You know, so stop making the distinction that we just want to be spiritual people. No, you are spiritual and enjoying natural things. And that natural things is also spiritual things. I want you to understand. Yeah, but Johan, what about money? What about money is spiritual. <whistles> no, you can't say that, John. You can't say that. I said, well, yes, I can. Because all good things come from the Lord. Spiritual. <laughs> but what do we do with things that are spiritual? We can make carnal. That's the difference. Okay, we can take something that God created that was good and we can turn it into evil. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We can take something, you can use money for bad or for good spiritual stuff. We can use our bodies for which is spiritual, God, for good or for bad stuff. That is the truth, isn't it right? But it's still spiritual. I want you to understand this morning because um, we are still separating ourselves from God. We're still separating between this and not that or this and not, no. You have to see God falls all in all. God is spiritual. The birds, the the man, your your animals, your your car, your house, your your everything is spiritual. Because it comes from God. All good things come from God, from the spiritual realm into the natural. And the natural and the spiritual realm are one. There's no more separation. The earth and the fullness that are belongs to the Lord. Okay? In heaven is God's throne and the earth is his footstool. They are connected. Earth and, and heaven, they are one. They are connected. There's no separation. But we separate this stuff. Stop separating these things. And start seeing that God is filling everything and putting everything into alignment. He, well, He has already. But we separate the stuff. We're still praying hard so that God can drop or come down and bring a revival and Holy Spirit and uh, fill this. No, you're already filled with Holy Spirit. Uh, Lord, please give us. No, God's already given you everything. You know, God, please. For, no, God is here among us. There's no more separation from us. We know to pray and pull God down from heaven or whatever. He fills you in and through you. He fills you, fills all in all. You know, that table or the chair, or the computer is spiritual. People yeah, but you are not stupid. I said, no. God made everything and he said it was good. So what? how does that stuff come? It comes from out of the earth. That stuff, that elements comes out of the earth. And God said it is good. It comes out of it. And stop praising God for what you have. Because it comes from the Lord. You know, and it's spiritual. Yes, Johan, again, I say to you, you can make it bad or good, but still stay spiritual. You are a person that's born again. You can choose your spiritual side. Your body is spiritual to use it for good or for bad. You choose. You choose. So we choose to listen, Lord, help us to use all things for His glory and for our good. And then for our glory, for His good. So we can choose that. So I don't know. I want to share that bit with you, that everything is actually spiritual. And just start seeing that. Seeing that that un a uh, not saved person is spiritual. That uh, Muslim or that atheist, it's spiritual people. They're not far from God. They're not, you know, they are spiritual people. Just They just don't know it. You know, start seeing that. Seeing that they are, they are brothers and sisters in Christ. They just don't know it yet. They are spiritual people. They are spiritual. I want you to see that. I want you to see that. 
You know, that good things is on the horizon. Good things. Good. Why? God falls all in all. The earth and the fullness they are belongs to the Lord. The, the, the meek shall inherit the earth. The good things are about to explode in our lives. The good things. I don't care what's happening in this world and the governments. I see blessing, blessing, favor, favor, grace, mercy, abundance to the full till it overflows. That's what I see on a regular basis. And the Lord reminds me of it. But start seeing things as spiritual stuff. And not just this natural, this is spiritual. No, they're one. They are one. You know, they did some tests and stuff like that. And they did some um, uh, sound wave and so forth. Think of electron or other scopes or whatever. They found this. And every, everything, every matter, like a brick or the, or the you know, um, a stone, like Jesus says, even the stones will cry out. They actually found out there is sound molecules in stones. And God spoke. He said, let light be, let everything be. Universe, a single spoken sentence. I mean, God's voice is in there. God, His voice is in every living, or in every matter. It doesn't matter if it lives or not. It's spiritual. God is filling that all in all. He fills stones. He fills metal. He fills cars. He fills rubber. He fills everything, people. Start seeing as tough as separation from the Lord, you know. Stop seeing that, no, no, too much, whatever. No, God is happy. When you are blessed because he delights in the prosperity of his servant. Know this, okay? Don't separate yourself. No, no, know that. So I just want to say to you guys, bless you guys, love you guys, and have a great day. Let us know um, how it's going out there. But I pray it will be better than expected in Jesus' name. I pray for abundance to the full till it overflows. I pray, man, that God will just wake you up to a new redemptive revelation. I just pray, man, for new horizons to open. I just pray, man, that you'll be so blessed and that the, your hands are anointed to heal the sick and to raise the dead. Man, I just want to say to you, man, God is truly for you, can be against you. Your future is bright. I don't care what's happening around you. I like the scripture. Always hold on to that. I've seen the young lion suffer and lack. Nah? But I've never seen the righteous beg for bread or lack any good thing. Love that scripture. So guys, you don't lack any good thing, you know, because why are you the righteousness of God Almighty? Love you, bless you, your hand is GFR Ministries. Be blessed to the full till it overflows. Love you guys. Bless you. Bye-bye.